So I got involved in ball hockey because I still wanted to compete at the top level of, of whatever sport it may be. And this is, uh, you know, when I've been on Team Canada a few times and in these nationals, you know, it's the best ball hockey in the world. The approach, you know, the rules are slightly different. You can gain the blue line. It's called a floating blue line. Once you gain, you can bring it back to the red. So, you know, you can, if you have a creative team, there's more power plays, goals and stuff like that. Uh, it's fun to watch, but I think uh, you know you got to be ready and you got to be working hard, and that's not cliche because in, in ice hockey you can glide a little bit, you can even kind of take a little bit of a breather while you're on the ice. Sometimes you know I, what I mean by that is you can you can take a few strides, glide a little bit, but in ball hockey you can't do that. If you miss your man, you know it's obvious, and you got to you, you got to work hard the whole game. I think for fans. It's a beauty sport to watch for that reason. I mean, in Canada, it's no secret, hockey is our most popular sport. So if you come watch this, I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. It's, you know, and the other thing is, even in senior hockey at home, uh, ice hockey, I mean, you know, we lost in the Allen Cup final. It was a great experience, but everybody's getting paid a little bit. In this, you know, we pay, uh, we all shelled out close to $2,000 to come to this tournament from Newfoundland. And you really see the passion involved, and you want to win for the boys, you want to win for, you know, your, your province, and you want to make Team Canada.